I'm from just northwest of Chicago. It's where I grew up my entire life. I have a lot of memories there. I've built a lot of relationships, and uh, it holds a special place in my heart. Our family life was chaotic growing up with the three boys for both of us. And my husband also traveled, and I had a job, so it was crazy. My mom, she's definitely the most selfless person that I know, one of the most caring people that I know, too. My husband, Paul, was also very caring. And I think that Jack got some of that from him as well. I do think that I have some of those traits, just hearing stories about him from college. My husband, Paul, played football at the University of Oregon, and he played in the late 70s, early 80s. That was the team that me and my two brothers grew up watching just because we had a connection to them. I remember one instance, Paul looked at Jack and he's just throwing, not even throwing, he's rolling him a ball, that's how young he was, he's rolling it. And he goes, this one has eye-hand coordination, he's going to be my football player. Unfortunately, my husband Paul passed away March 22nd, 2005, the age of 43. He had a heart attack. It was a sudden heart attack, and um, that whole time for me was a blur. Only a vivid memory that I really have is waking up one morning, walking into my mother's bedroom, and then she explained to us what happened and that you know our father isn't around anymore. It changed all our lives that day. The Ducks in those gleaming chrome helmets, the same ones they wore last time they beat Wisconsin here. When I came out that we were going to be playing Oregon in the Rose Bowl, that was almost like a wow moment. How can I not think about my dad? I would have just loved to see uh, how he would have been during that game. My dad was definitely on my mind. Jack Sandborn was in the area, and he's got the football. The sophomore linebacker, whose late father played for Oregon, grew up a Ducks fan, makes the first big defensive play. I was probably crying when Jack got that interception, and I was proud, and I was sad, and I mean, I just went through like a whole ton of emotions. I think, but most of all, I was just super happy and excited for him. Obviously, it's something that you think about how life would be different. I'm sure that he would be at every single game, you know, our biggest fan, him and our mom. But at the same time, who knows if I would be here right now. With my father passing, that made me who I was growing up, that made me who I am still to this day, and I don't know if I would ever change it. I started getting recruited after my high school sophomore football season. I remember one of the coaches or deans coming up to me and being like, hey, uh, so-and-so is coming in tomorrow to look at you. Uh, don't mess it up. <laughs> 24 hours later, I had my first scholarship offer. He is a linebacker through and through. He understands the game. It's like having another coach on the field. There's certain things that he can do, and you just wouldn't expect a linebacker to do. And then you're like, hey, we'll give you the freedom to to go out of structure and make a play sometimes because he sees the game so well. Rose Bowl game versus Oregon, he just goes, I can see what they're doing. Can I come out of my gap and make this play? He ends up getting an interception. Picked up, yes sir! Sanborn in there for the Badgers. Another one was Wake Forest. I went up to him and I asked him, because I mean, really I was supposed to be kind of blitzing. I don't think I'm gonna blitz and I think I'm just gonna drop back and pick it off. How about that? Jack Sanborn steps in front. Very few guys are going to be able to do that. Talk about how they can make an adjustment in their technique. To me, you just see a young kind of professional in the making. Jack had the decision at the end of last year to either enter the draft or stay and play his senior year. He felt like there was some unfinished business. He came back for all the right reasons, to improve the team and to improve himself. At the same time, you have this other opportunity 
to help your younger brother being teammates. I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't something on my mind that would be awesome. Share that experience with my brother. It's a good time coming into the facility every day and seeing that your older brother's here to help give you tips. It's special. Not too many kids in America get to say that me and my brother played on the same college football team. Clifford under pressure and goes down. Jack Sanborn with the sack. Jack being a great leader, great brother, gives him another link to our younger players. I'm just excited to watch him grow finishing up here at Wisconsin and beyond.